What's up guys? So this is my Sugar Skull tutorial and it is sped up. The whole video is sped up because it took forever to film. And the first thing I'm starting out with is my NYX Primer in Honey Dew, I think that's what it's called, to lay a good base. And then I'm taking a just any white cream makeup and laying that on my face to make my face look pale like a skull. back in with my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk to intensify the white. done here is I have glued my eyebrows down with eyelash glue which I do not recommend do never and never put eyelash glue on your eyebrows because it's terrible it sucks and it takes uh, it just like rips your eyebrows off don't ever do it anyways I'm doing this so I will have a nice clean clean base to draw on my brows if that makes sense and hopefully you understand never put eyelash glue on your eyebrows and now I'm taking a just any translucent powder I'm using the NYX HD one but you can use any white translucent powder it's just gonna set the cream makeup now I am taking my NYX jumbo eyeshadow pencil in black which is another staple I always have to use milk and black in my tutorials um, and I'm just creating the hollows of the eye sockets and I'm just going to fill those in. Then taking any black shadow that you have, doesn't have to be from the Lorac Pro Palette, you just want to go over that black so it will be, so it won't move around. And right here I'm just taking a sponge to kind of clean up the edges like if I had any oopsies so yeah so this is where I start doing the scalloping around the edges which is pretty traditional in a sugar skull um, but sugar skulls can be interpreted any way you want them to be they're very personal um, so just be creative with it and do what you feel like you want to do because the options are limitless so I finished the scallops and I ended up using a black liquid liner instead of a pencil one and now I'm going in with a Urban Decay liner I forgot the name of it I'll put it below um, and just outlining the inside of the scallops and now I'm taking some crystals um, they don't have glue on the back of them already so I'm using eyelash glue to attach them and this is what it looked like and it took a really long time actually it took about 30 minutes to apply no no not 30 I'm lying it took about 10 minutes but you get it and now I am doing my spider web for my forehead and again it's up to you what you want to do with your design this is just what I did this is this is pretty basic this um, sugar skull that I'm doing is pretty a pretty basic one I just kind of went off of some pictures that I saw just took some inspiration from them and now after I've drawn like the lines you want to connect them with like some curvy lines as you can see how I'm doing it if that makes any sense and after this my camera had to charge for a little bit all I did was take some pink liquid glitter liner and outline the entire web and now I am drawing my flower and honestly I drew this way too large I would have uh, preferred it being a little bit smaller if I would have started in the middle and then worked my way out it would have worked a little bit better but I was really just ready to be finished with this because this took way too long not just because of the makeup or whatever it's just because I had to stop so many times and put my memory card in my computer and take some of the videos off the memory card and then let my um, battery charge throughout the video so 
If you're doing it, it'll probably take you about an hour and a half to two hours, just depending on how much detail you want into the sugar skull. And that is my flower, and I'm just going to go back in um, and kind of detail it a little bit and make it a, have a little bit of shadow to it towards the tips. And I'm just using a standard uh, black liquid liner, which I prefer over a pencil. I found with this whole tutorial, I used a liquid liner instead of a pencil. I couldn't think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do some free-handed just some swirls around my cheeks and down my face just pretty again basic you can do what you want to do this is just what I ended up coming up with <laughs> So I've added some, just some peach blush and then I finished up my swirls and now I'm taking uh, this NYX Macaroon lipstick and I think this one is lilac, I could be wrong, but it's just the lightest purple one. You can use any colors again, this is totally up to you what you want to do. And then I'm going to take my NYX, these are their new lip crayons and this is just in that really bright pink and then another Macaroon lipstick in orange I want to say I don't know pretty basic colors and I'm just blending them in to create this kind of gradual tie-dye kind of effect it looks really cool I like how the flower turned out oh yeah that's what I did for the colors so here I am just using the lipstick the two macaroon lipsticks the orange one and the lightest pink one um, from NYX to create this kind of orangey color orangey yeah, that's right. <laughs> and now I'm just creating the hollow of my nose because you know how like skeletons have like hollows where their nose is. That's basically what you're going to create. And this again is interpreted whichever way you want. Um, you can find different ways to do this. But I chose this way. And you kind of just make an upside down heart and fill it in. Yeah. to apologize for being out of frame pretty much this whole time creating the kind of skeleton mouth um, but you're basically just drawing a line on both sides and drawing lines through them almost like stitches as if like someone stitched your mouth closed does that make sense hopefully nobody ever does that like that movie that one that's coming out like soon Ouija mm-mm honey but I'm not but yeah <laughs> you're basically just going to create lines across your mouth and this is the final product it might take a little while but the result is so awesome this was my most favorite tutorial to film all right guys I hope you enjoyed this YouTube tutorial of my sugar skull this actually took a lot longer than I was expecting it to I, I literally started this around 4 o'clock and I'm just now finishing at 7 but I had things to do in between so I kind of stopped and started and stopped and started so really all you really need to do a full face is about I would give yourself about two hours to like elaborately do this and just remember I had to individually glue these on and just add like little details like the glitter in the spider web um, just things like that please excuse me I am 
I don't know if I'm sick or what, if it's just my allergies. So that's why I didn't do a talk through because I just, I'm just trying to rest my voice for right now. So sorry for not doing a whole talk through, but it would have taken forever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do this look or anything like this, or if I inspired you to do this, please let me know and I will definitely check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave some comments below and tell me what you want to see next. Bye!